Hello. Today we are going to draw a regular decagon inscribed in a given circumference. We are going to do this decagon not using the general method which is previously done, but we are going to draw a five-sided pentagon and then we are going to duplicate its sides so that we form a ten-sided polygon or decagon. And also by using this method we can duplicate any polygon to double its amount of sides, for example from a hexagon to a 12-sided polygon or from a heptagon to a 14-sided polygon. The first thing we are going to do is to draw a horizontal diameter which cuts our circumference at points P and Q, as can be seen here in the video. The second step is to draw a vertical diameter perpendicular to our previous diameter. Our new vertical diameter will cut our circumference at two points which we will call A and F. So the next step we are going to calculate the perpendicular bisector of the radius OQ. To do this with our compass set on point O and a radius slightly greater than half of the radius OQ we scribe an arc above and below the radius. And now, with the same radius and the compass centered on point Q, we scribe another arc which intersects our previously drawn arcs at two points. And now, we will join these two points and where it cuts the radius OQ, this will be the midpoint R of the radius. So now, with our compass centered on R and radius RA, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts our horizontal diameter PQ. We will call this point S. Now we join point S to point A and this line segment SA will be the length L5 of one side of the pentagon that we want to draw. So the next step is with our compass set to the length L5 and centered on the point A we scribe an arc to the left, cutting our circumference at point C, as can be seen here in the video. So now, with our compass set to the length AC and set on the point A, we scribe a new arc to the right. And now, setting our compass on this previously scribed arc, we're going to scribe another arc below, as can be seen here. And now setting our compass on point C, our previously drawn arc C, we scribe another arc below, as can be seen here. If we are doing everything with precision and accuracy, our final arc should fit exactly, as you can see here in the video. And we will name these points. L, E, G, and C, as can be seen here. So we are going to draw our pentagon in blue to differentiate it from the final decagon that we are going to draw. To continue from our pentagon, we are going to work out the perpendicular bisector of one of its sides, for example, AC. While drawing the perpendicular bisector of AC, remember we must set the compass length to slightly greater than half the radius AC, and then we scribe an arc above and below the radius. And now, with the same radius and the compass centered on point A, we scribe another arc which intersects our previously drawn arcs at two points. And now, we will join these two points, and where this line cuts the circumference above the side, this will be our new vertex B of the decagon. So now the distance from vertex A on our pentagon to vertex B on our decagon is going to be the length of one side of our new decagon. So now with the compass set to the length AC, we are going to scribe three further new arcs on the other sides of our pentagon, excluding the bottom one because it is already marked with the vertical diameter. So now with our compass set on point A, as can be seen here in the video. And now again, with our compass set on point L, we scribe another arc on our circumference, as can be seen here. And now we are going to mark these new vertices, B, D, 
H and J as can be seen here and finally the next step is to join our points A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to F, F to G, G to H, H to L, L to J, and finally we will close our decagon, joining points J to A. And remember that we can use this method to duplicate any polygon to double its amount of sides. So here you have a regular decagon inscribed in a given circumference. I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our channel. Thank you.